Caitlin Clark has her second game in the WNBA versus the New York Liberty. Hit the like button. You know, I did a Caitlin Clark video uh, reviewing her first regular season game, and you have so many morons in the comments proving everything I always say on this channel. I'm always right. You have people who know nothing about the game of basketball leaving comments proving they know nothing about the game of basketball. You have a lot of stupid people talking about she's missing, she missed shots or she missed this. Basketball is not about making shots. You have people saying, well, how does she have a bad debut? She scored 20 points. <laughs> I said in that video, people look at stats and think they know basketball. They don't. She had 20 points that meant nothing. She got the majority of those points when the game was a blowout. So her second game comes, and she shoots even worse. But once again, she is a rookie. But you, it, it's just amazing. It, it's two sides of delusional people. One side is, it, it, she's like the female Eminem. She, she, she's becoming the female version of Eminem. With Eminem, these Eminem man worshippers, you can't say nothing about him, and he never did nothing wrong, and oh, God. So it's the same thing as coming with Caitlin Clark, because you're a bunch of people, you worship celebrities, you worship athletes. Why? They don't care about you. You don't know these people. They don't care to know you, but you, you have this delusion. So you have half the people talking about, uh, no one even cares about the WNBA. Then why did you click on a video about the WNBA? Oh, uh, 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 she scored this many points, so how could you say it was a bad game? Um, she had 10 turnovers, you moron. She had a bunch of points of no meaning. She was flat-footed defensively. She looked lost on the court, but she is a rookie. But you have people saying that was a good game. How was that a good game? Some moron left a comment saying, well, if you compare her debut to Bird and Magic and Jordan, I'm, I'm sorry, excuse me, why would you compare a woman to a man? Why would you compare a, 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 a there's no comparison. What are you talking about? There's no comparison with women's sports and men's sports. You moron. But she's a rookie, and I said in the first video, all that Iowa stuff doesn't work. And you have to understand, most of these Caitlin Clark female worshipers, great, I can't say man worshipers, they're a bunch of cunt worshipers. They didn't even care about women's basketball two years ago. They weren't watching her when she was a freshman. They don't even know anything about basketball. They don't know anything about female basketball. They know one person, just like Eminem's delusional fan base. So many parallels. She's going to struggle in this rookie season, as all or most rookies do in all the sports. And she played the New York Liberty, a good team. Stewart and that Sabrina, I can never say her last name, but uh, New York is a good team. And once again, all that fancy Iowa trash does not work in the pros. And uh, she will learn. And she had a even worse game than her debut tonight uh, versus New York. But um, business-wise... The WNBA is on Amazon Prime, and uh, I assume that's good for them. I don't know. Um, they're, they're getting some sort of pay out of it, obviously. And uh, the Indiana Fever game was said to have a tremendous attention and, and, and attendance and jersey sales and concessions. They ran out of nachos and jalapenos for them, whatever. Did you hit the like button? But once again, she ran into a veteran team. Indiana gets demolished because they are not a good team and another part of these delusional uh these del these delusional uh pap smear worshipers these people after the first game is saying oh it's it's the indiana it's the coach's fault how is it the coach's fault when the players on the floor are traveling shuffling and look lost the players have to play the game it's not the coach's fault this is that moronic, like LeBron James. Oh, it's Darvin Ham's fault. Uh, it's, it's Frank Vogel's fault. It, it's Mike Brown's fault. It, it's Luke. It's, it's always someone else's fault. No, the players are not playing well, and they're not going to. Indiana's not a good team. They're a young team. They have to learn. I said it might not be three or four years until Indiana's a good team. You have stupid people watching Caitlin Clark. How come her shots aren't falling? Because this is the pros. 
<laughs> this is the pros. And even if you're open, you're not going to make every shot. These are imperfect human beings. Breaking news. In, in her first game, when she got the two quick fouls, people in the comments, oh my God, the referees are so horrible. It's the referee's fault. No, it's her fault. She played undisciplined. It's just amazing. You have a world of people when they like a celebrity, the person they like can do no wrong and everything else is a lie or someone else's fault and everyone's hating. Oh, a man worshiper and, and, and a female worshiper. They love calling people haters. Oh, that's their favorite word. But they got blew out tonight, as I predicted. And tonight was bad. Imagine when they play uh, Vegas. Good Lord. You know, Indiana, they... they <laughs> I mean, as I record this, there's a minute 43 left in the fourth quarter. Indiana has six points in the quarter. They had 16 in the first quarter. Um, Kaitlin Clark, she had three turnovers, so not as bad as 10. But she did, she racked up the fouls. She she got more rebounds, more assists. But um, she has a lot of work. And this whole team does. Indiana is not a good team. They had the number one pick for a reason. So... All these clowns, all, all these monkeys who know nothing about the WNBA, you're just following one person because um, you're excited from highlights. Well, you need to learn this game before you speak on it. And with that said, I'm up out of here. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and shout out to Angel Reese, the real future of the WNBA.